Hi guys, this is Savitha Wilson from the official Gravitas media team, Pixels. Right now here I am in the guest house with the very acclaimed motivational speaker, Mr. Mudit Yadav. Thank you sir for being here with us. This being your first time in VIT, what would you like to say about our campus and the aura over here? So when I was entering the campus, you know, it was all like a dead town outside. But the moment I stepped in, all the students and the vibes here are totally different from the rest. I think you guys make the city live. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, at such a young age of 22, you have achieved so much in life. How do you feel about it? What is the passion behind all your success? I think uh, if you do something that you love to do, by the side that's something that you have to do, you will eventually end up being successful at it. So one thing that I would like to define it as is persistence. Because something that I love to do, I kept doing it from the time I was a child. And so here at 22, I'm loving to do it with you guys. Hello VIT, I am Vijay Manali and I am sitting right next to Mr. Karthik Poenam, speaker, motivational speaker for GISL. Hello sir, welcome to VIT. Thank you. How has your stay been in VIT sir? It's been fabulous, though the flight was completely taken a lot of toll on my energy levels. I really relaxed wonderfully well yesterday and thank you for all your coordinators and I really appreciate all that you've done. Thank you so much, sir. I'm myself a Hyderabadi and you come from Hyderabad, we all know. So any fond memory of Hyderabad, for example, I really, really, really love Hyderabadi biryani and that's really overrated. So what is your choice if it's Hyderabad? What comes to your mind? See, Hyderabad to me mostly is about um, change every day. Every day is different in Hyderabad. And I am like, um, what do you say, an alien in Hyderabad because uh, I hardly stay for more than four to five days in Hyderabad. When it comes to biryani, I really love the paradise biryani, veg biryani, because I'm a vegetarian. So I love the way in which they mix the, the whole sequence of that masala. I love it well. And uh, then, you know, you don't have much places to see more in Hyderabad, obviously. So, but the people are really good and warm. You know, the Hyderabadi language uh, is kaiku, naku, and all is very, very attractive. And the people are very warm there. Food is very good there, but the traffic, I'm sure it will improve as days pass by. And uh, we have people doing wonderful things. We have the new, pe uh, new people who have come in the ministry also doing really well. So I really appreciate it. Hello everyone, this is Sarah Sandy, and it's indeed my great pleasure to share the screen with a renowned talent from the country, Mr. Gardner. So, you have got some library in this language, and how is your experience? Thank you so much. Sir, I wanted to welcome you once again to the IT. So, according to you, sir, how was your experience with the 
Uh, I don't know why that channel shows better. Both of these things are keeping on the screen or the social media channel when you come to the second time. The crowd will not be going to this conference with most of the people that they can have their eyes. But maybe this will not go as well as your last time. But it was equally crazy. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. 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 And you got a better catch note this time. It was better. Hello VIT, I'm Sarthak and I'm sitting here with stand-up comedian, musician and super entertainer Kenny Sebastian. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you here among us. So, I'm sure a lot of people, particularly the girls, are really excited about your performance tonight. So, what do you expect from the crowd? Uh, I'm glad that the girls are excited but I'm glad that I'm here and college shows are always fun, especially a place like VIT I've heard a lot about. Um, I always look forward to college shows because this is the this is the audience I write for, so I am just super excited. Uh, I'm doing a completely new uh, 45 minute set because I never repeat my material. So what are we going to see today is like the first time you'll see ever by anybody. So hopefully you guys will like it and if you don't like it, it's new. So don't judge me. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Looking forward to it, sir. Uh, so you are a really, really talented person. You were a musician and an artist before being a popular sensation among the youth. So what made you switch over to comedy as a full-time profession? Okay, um, well, the thing is, uh, I think when I was in school itself, I kind of, uh, it didn't make sense, any any of this academic stuff. Even though I wasn't like horrible in studies, I kind of like passed 10th board. I did uh, computer science, CBSE. So 10th and 12th, I passed the distinction and stuff, but I just didn't see the point of uh, academics. And always in school, I used to sketch, and I used to sketch really well. So I wanted to be a filmmaker when I was in 10th. 
and still do uh, i still like making films all the stand up clips you see all the videos are all edited by me uh, most of them are also shot and directed by me um so i was always knew that i wanted to do films and i got into a, a painting college because i wanted freedom uh, i don't want a degree i just wanted to just do uh, do films but i was like get some degree so i chose painting and uh, while i was doing painting i did theater to improve my direction and when i did theater i discovered i could act and i was doing comedy and while i was doing that i was also doing music i did music in school and uh, in college also formed a band and we released an album and stuff all on our own um, none of that worked and then stand up uh, found me and uh, i just enjoyed doing stand up a lot so by the time i was in third year college i had been freelancing uh, corporate videos for like 3 years so i by the time i graduated uh, college i already was making more than most engineering graduates so then i had to make a choice between should i take stand up as a profession or corporate videos and uh, corporate videos felt like work and stand up didn't so it took a leap of faith and it all worked out <laughs> hello vit i am here sitting next to the person who is ever satirical he has been named as one of the top 20 stand up comedians in india yeah you guessed it right it's none other than apoor gupta good evening sir good evening hi how are you i'm fine sir so how does it feel to be performing for the second time in vit i think it's always a pleasure to perform in front of the best crowd of college in india so i think one of the one of the no no i i won't say one of the best crowd i think it is one of it is the best crowd of india so it's always a good feeling to perform here yeah it's really a pleasure sir to have you here uh so which one you have done more than 500 shows which one of your act has been the most memorable i think it it's last year 13th of september 2015 in vit in vit that's really great of you sir hello vit this is shrijini and i'm sitting here with dhruv desh pande he is a graduate of narsi munji mumbai and now is one of the most known faces in the stand up scene in india welcome sir uh, sir tell me something uh, from a very professional line of pharmacy and mba how do you make this transition to stand up and how was the journey so i actually started uh, doing it while in college so i started doing it part time so i used to study really less and uh, just go for shows and write and all so after a point i realized like one part of my life was just making me depressed and one part was making me really happy so i just made the shift it was really easy to be honest the shift was really easy 